name is Eddie Webb, president of the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame, and we're here tonight to honor 16 young men and women from around the state high schools that uh, have been outstanding in their accomplishments thus far in their lives. We recognize male and female. We pick 16 kids from around the state. We have a selection committee that uh, looks through all the nominations and it's based upon their academics, their athletics, and their citizenship. So this is a testament to young men and women who have their priorities in order and showing that you can do all three. And the first one is Kristen Bishop. Kristen is a senior at Union High School in Big Stone Gap where she had a 4.08 uh, GPA. Uh, she played uh, golf, basketball, and softball. She was first team all district, all conference, and all region in basketball, and first team all district, second team all conference in softball. Um, she won the Beth Hagen Award, given to recognize a female athlete who possesses leadership, hard work, ethics, and good sportsmanship, and a respectable academic standing. She was class president of the SCA and captain of the basketball and softball team. Oh, it was really nice. I got to see a lot of people who were just generally good at being athletes and um, in the classrooms. They heard a lot of big GBA names, and uh, I'm just thinking, ooh, that's, that's high. <laughs> so I'm just thinking that's great that they can be doing sports and they can juggle the classroom so well. Well, my family and uh, all the people at the table are the reason I'm here because I mean, they've helped me so much, but uh, when I heard my name compared to all those other names, I was, I was real surprised that I got that. Um, they were going through a bunch of the finalists, and I'm going to be honest, some of them, those accolades had me really, really nervous. <laughs> um, the Noah Lyles guy was really, really good. Uh, all his accomplishments, I, I thought he deserved it really well. So we had some speakers come up, and we had other finalists talk about themselves and they picked two girls and two guys so I was one of them. Well there were a ton of people who helped me achieve success. Uh, high school guidance counselors and teachers prided me to do the right thing, uh, to continue to work on the academics as well as, well as athletics and that I had a wonderful opportunity to, to achieve uh, long-term success not just for myself personally but for my entire family and thank God I listened to them. The accomplishments of these kids are pretty incredible and it's um, nice to even just be a part of it and it does like um, William Fuller had mentioned it does give it's an encouragement it gives hope I, to all of us as adults middle age or wherever we are in life to know that there are a bunch of kids who are who are achievers and they're taking life seriously it's a lot of work for all the parents to take their kids to help them participate in these things it's a money effort it's a time you know, commitment, but um, when your child's passion is any activity, whether it's science competition or music or sports, you do your best to accommodate them and we're happy that she's enjoying it. You know, I think sports, sports has really shaped um, my character a lot. Um, I've learned dedication, and, um, respect for coaches, my teammates, and um, just learning to like stay on task, you know, to balance the academics and the athletics. So I think it's really built my character up a lot. 